So who invented the lawn flamingo? A very interesting man, uh, a Massachusetts man with the wonderful and appropriate name of Don Featherstone, and he trained as a sculptor. He got work in the post-war years at a plastics factory. It's that, like that wonderful famous old line from The Graduate, I have one word of advice for you, <laughs> plastics. Well, he took that advice, and the plastics factory made all sorts of three-dimensional ornamental pieces for the home. He had the idea, and again, just in a, a stroke of inspiration, of making a creature that would connote the ongoing pleasure of endless summer. I think we say in the obit, the saturated pink promise of endless summer. And it took off in ways that he never imagined, sold millions and millions and millions, and literally changed the landscape of America. So now we have the saturated pink promise of endless summer because of him. We do. I mean, perhaps had he not done it, someone else would have. But the point is, he did, and he was transformative enough, albeit in a perhaps campy way when viewed through a postmodern lens. The Times put him on page one.